What's up, YouTube? It's the no intro god. Okay, let's get right into the video. You're here to lose weight, okay? If I'm gonna teach you how to lose weight, you have to first know that I know how to lose weight, okay? So here is a picture of me a year ago. Pretty chunky. And here's a photo of me now. Perfect, now that I have my weight loss coaching gold certificate and you know that I'm trustworthy and know what the fuck I'm talking about, let's get started. Step number one, and this is actually gonna be the most important step, so I need you to listen to what the fuck I'm saying, okay? In total, I lost about 90 pounds, but my weight loss journey is another video for another day, okay? You're here to lose weight while on quarantine. Step number one, and the most important step, so listen when I say it. Okay, are you are you listening? Are you are you ready to consume what I'm about to tell you? The first and most important step of losing weight while on quarantine is do not eat because you are bored. Now, I want to make sure you heard me. I want to make sure you understood how important that was by my enunciation. That's an SAT word, I think. Do not eat because you are bored. I'm gonna take a sip of water. I'm gonna sprinkle some fairy dust on it. And I need you to listen up. Don't tune me out like you do your mom when she tells you to do shit. Do not eat because you are bored. That is the most efficient way to gain extraordinary amounts of weight in a small amount of time, okay? Because you have to understand, we're on quarantine, which means you're doing nothing. You don't have a job, you don't go to school, you don't go out, you don't hang out with friends, you just sit at home all day, okay? I'm gonna show you something that's kind of scary, all right? On average, before this quarantine shit, when I would go to class on a regular day, on a regular weekday, I was walking between seven and 10,000 steps in a day. This is between like going to the bus stop, going to the train station, walking around downtown and getting to class, walking around campus, uh, getting home, maybe doing some things around home. And you know, if I hang out with friends, maybe I do. If, if not, maybe I don't, okay? seven to ten thousand steps a day this is just my regular like have to get life done activity this is not even like going to the gym activity now that i'm on quarantine today i took a grand total of 1500 steps all day which is actually one of my highest since i've been at home there are multiple days where i actually take 500 steps in the entire day which means on average my daily step count just my step count has been reduced by 80 percent okay that means 80 percent of my weekday regular activity right whatever you want to call it not going to the gym calorie output has been reduced by 80%, okay? Less calories out means less calories have to come in to maintain my weight. And some of you might be saying, this guy thinks I'm a fucking idiot? Of course I know not to eat when I'm fucking bored. I only eat when I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> Cause I'm way smarter than this guy. Fucking idiot, man. This guy's a fucking idiot, man. I can't believe I'm watching this shit. It's easy to say you're not eating when you're bored. When you're not keeping track of shit and you're loosey goosey with the calories and everything's uh, how you feel. Let's just do some simple math here. And I don't mean to scare you. It's very simple. 24 hours in a day, right? Okay, you're following me so far. Out of that 24 hours, let's say you get an eight hour sleep every day. I mean, that's very reasonable. You don't have anything to do. So like, you're gonna get a good night's sleep pretty much every day of this quarantine shit. So you're getting your eight hours, right? Which means you have 16 hours of awake time, okay? Time that you're up, like not fucking sleeping. 
all 16 hours of that time, pretty much, unless you spend like 30 minutes going to the grocery store, on average, all 16 hours of that time is gonna be spent inside your house with no breaks, with no assignments, with no schedule, with no work commitments, with uh, no deadlines, right? Just at home, doing nothing with food readily available to you at all points in that 16 hour period. Even if you're on a conference call for whatever reason, you still have food available to you. It's right there in the kitchen. My caloric maintenance is 2,400 calories. Let's say for the sake of argument, so the math is simple. I don't want you guys to throw up on me because of this math. The average person is eating 2,000 in a day for their maintenance, okay? Are you telling me in 16 hours of uninterrupted time awake, you can't eat 2,000 calories? If you answered no, you're fucking lying to yourself. Here's my point. If you eat when you're bored, you're gonna be eating all the time because you're always gonna be bored. You're in the house all day, okay? And I know it's one of those things that seems so obvious. Of course I'm in the house all day. Of course I know not to eat too much. Of course I know overeating is gonna lead to weight gain. Here's the thing though, you can't always necessarily control something until you realize it's happening to you. There, there's a difference between actually being hungry and eating because you don't have anything better to do. That we have so much more extra time that we are not used to having. And we also don't have any responsibilities now to fill that time with anything. And, and a lot of our natural instinct is to just go eat something or just go cook or something food related to pass the time. And I'm, and I'm saying this to help you realize what's happening so that you can stop yourself, right? And you can not overeat because by the time you snack on stuff all day and, you pa and every time you pass by the kitchen, which is all day for 16 hours, you're gonna have overeaten on your caloric maintenance by far. So, so the first step and the most important one is being aware of that. And don't judge me on my tank top, by the way. I'm showing you guys me in my realest form, okay? Like the truest version of me, all right? This fucking YouTube, I wanna be real. Which leads me to my next point. Do not choose this two week span to become a chef. And I see a lot of my friends, they're on their snap, they're on their stories, just cooking away. They wanna try every new recipe that's ever been created, right? And I, and I totally get it. I mean, you got spare time. Sometimes it's like, whoa, let me just try this, these exotic recipes. I'm bored, fuck it, right? If you're baking all day and you're cooking all day, you're gonna be eating all day, okay? That's just the reality of it. Let's not play ourselves. Let's not even put ourselves in a position to lose, right? The more food we put in front of ourselves, the more we're going to eat. My next point is to track your calories right eat at your caloric maintenance and now some of you are saying hey 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 that's wrong that's wrong if you eat at your caloric maintenance you're not gonna lose any weight you're gonna stay the same thompson you're gonna stay the same that's not the point of this video you're wasting my time you're wasting my time shut the fuck up and wait for me to finish okay eat at your caloric maintenance if you don't know how to calculate your caloric maintenance and put a link to a video in the description that will show you how to calculate your caloric maintenance. All you need is a food scale and MyFitnessPal, okay? It's very simple. If you don't know what MyFitnessPal is, it's an app where you can input food, take pictures of food labels, and they have all the statistics there readily available to you. All you have to do is input how much of it you're eating, the quantity which is why I say get a food scale, but it's not necessary. I've also put a link in the description to a video that shows you how to use MyFitnessPal. Take that caloric maintenance for the day, right? And I need you to squeeze that into a short time period. This is tailor-made for you. When I say short time period, some people might be able to go four hours their entire caloric maintenance. Some people might be able to go six hours their entire caloric maintenance. Whatever your eating schedule is, 
I want you to stick to that and be true to that. The smaller your eating window, the more weight you're gonna lose because of something called intermittent fasting. If you don't know what intermittent fasting is, I've put a link in the description to a video that talks about that. We're here on the details of quarantine weight loss, okay? Let's say this average person is eating 2000 calories in a day, right? For their caloric maintenance. And they can comfortably fit those 2000 calories for the day in a four hour eating window, which means, this means from the hours of 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., they eat 2000 calories worth of food in that time frame outside of that time frame they do not consume any calories no beverages no no uh no tea with honey or any sweeteners no no artificial sweeteners no zero calorie sweeteners no fruits no smoothies no juices nothing but water okay any food whatsoever is going to is going to create an insulin response is defeating the purpose of what we're trying to accomplish here with the intermediate fasting me personally i type my eating window is one hour i eat about 2400 calories for maintenance and i've and i've shrunk that down into a one hour eating window because i eat i eat so much in one hour that I get that buffet satiated full feeling that allows me to kind of just stop thinking about food, which is exactly why I said don't snack. You will never get that satiated feeling when you snack all day and you don't allow yourself to get that, that hormonal response of being full, being satiated, having a meal. Have meals, preferably. Do not have items that are you're just going to be taking one or two bites of here and there the next step is slightly advanced but it's so simple honestly people just complicate this way too much day one day one you are tightening your eating window you are only you are eating all your caloric maintenance in four hours now day two i want you to fast for the entire day what is fasting you might ask Oh, well, I have the answer. It's so simple. It just means you don't eat. You don't eat anything. You don't drink anything except for water. Do not listen to me. Do not complicate this. Fasting means you do not consume any beverage or food except for water. That is it. The only thing you are allowed to have is water, nothing else. Do not complicate this. I have to give a fair warning though. If you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or any medication that requires you to take pills, don't just jump into a fast, right? You need, you need to like practice intermediate fasting before you do an entire day. I only say that because your blood sugar levels are important and they're not gonna necessarily regulate uh, how they're supposed to if you're on specific medications or you have diabetes, for example. Those of you not on a medication who are fairly healthy will have no problem fasting an entire day. I promise you, you will not die because you don't eat in a single day, okay? Our bodies were not made to be so fragile that 24 hours without food would kill us, okay? If we evolved to be that weak, we would never evolve. We'd be dead, okay? You can survive 24 hours without food. I've done much longer. But once again, that's another video for another day. If you feel low energy, you can drink salt water, right? Not just regular salt in water, there's a specific mixture of potassium and salt water that will replenish your electrolytes throughout the day. I put a link in my description to that concoction, right? So you can understand how to make that if you're feeling super low energy. But you should be all right considering you're not doing anything. Like you're just sitting on the couch, okay? That doesn't require copious amounts of energy, all right? Like 
you'll be fine. Like you're, you're a big boy. I, I believe in you. I promise. So here's where I get to answering the people who are like, well, well, if you eat at a caloric maintenance, <laughs> you're not going to lose any weight. Let's do some simple math. And again, I don't want you to throw up on me. Okay. This is very simple math. We're going to use a calculator. It's 2020. Okay. I don't, I don't like math either. Let's do some simple math to calculate your calories in versus calories out on the week. So we have our average person, right? Our average person eats 2000 calories in a day, right? For their caloric maintenance, right? We're going to multiply that by four. We're going to, sorry. See, I, I told you like uh, math's not my thing. We're going to multiply that by seven. Okay. For seven days a week, we're going to calculate our caloric maintenance on the week. We have 14,000 calories on the week, right? Okay. Perfect. So in 14,000 calories for seven days, let's say out of this seven days, if we're only eating every other day, right? We have to cut this in half, but let's say for the sake of argument, you're going to eat four days out of the seven, which means one day you eat back, to, which means one at one point in the week, you eat back to back days. Are you following me? So four days out of seven, you are eating your caloric maintenance. So that number is 2000 multiplied by the four days you are eating. Okay. Which means we have 8,000 calories on the week. Okay. Now, if we take our weekly caloric maintenance, which means the which means the total amount of calories we've eaten in a week to stay the same weight. And we minus the actual amount of calories we've consumed on this quarantine routine, which is 8,000. We are left with a 6,000 caloric deficit on the week. Okay. That is a massive, massive caloric deficit you're going to lose weight on that for sure. To, just to give you some context on how much weight you would be losing on the, on this routine. For comparison, let's go to our life before quarantine. Okay. And, and let's, and let's say you're working out and going to work, doing all your work activities five days a week. Okay. In their regular daily activity, meaning non gym activity and their gym activity, let's say they're burning a thousand calories a day for context, one hour on the elliptical, the treadmill or the stair stepper is going to burn 600 calories, which means I'm giving you 400 calories of leeway to take into account, uh, your walking throughout the day and your weightlifting. Let's say you, you lift weights and you do cardio five days a week. We're going to take our 14,000 caloric maintenance for the week and subtract 5,000 total calories for the 1000 calories we are burning per day for five days a week, which means we are left with 9,000 calories on the week. Okay. We have actually burned a thousand calories less on the week by, by eating and exercising every single day than we would have burned if we just skipped a day of eating and fasted the entire day. In recap, what are we going to do? We're going to not eat out of boredom, right? We're going to not try to turn into a chef. We are going to stop snacking. All right. We are going to tighten our eating window into a time that is manageable for you. Could be four hours, could be six hours, could be one hour. Then we are going to fast every other day on water or salt water, whatever works for you. While you're doing this routine, keep track of your weight, get on the scale, see if you're losing any weight, see how much weight you're losing, how fast you're losing it. I'm going to put a link in my description to a couple other fasting videos that I think will help you guys out, give you guys some more information about fasting for those of you who are new to it, um, and teach you, uh, some of the things that I've been taught, uh, by different YouTubers, uh, who kind of got me started on my weight loss journey. So until then I'll see you. I'll see you next time.